Today, we dive into Four Gate Whiskey Company's batch number six, or the Kelvin Collaboration 2. Will this one live up to its hype? Let's find out today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. Welcome back to the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. My name is Scott. Today, we're getting into Four Gate Whiskey Company's batch number six, or the Kelvin Collaboration 2. What this is, is this is a 12 year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey that's finished in both a uh, dark rum cask as well as a cognac cask. So a really interesting uh, blend here. Uh, proof on this is gonna be 126.4 proof or 63.2% uh, ABV. Uh, it is non-age stated, but again, they've uh, classified and have uh, made it uh, aware that it is a 12 year uh, bourbon whiskey. Uh, mash bill on this one is coming in at 74% corn, 18% rye, and 8% malted barley. And the MSRP on this is going to be right around that $200 price point. So typically with four gate stuff, they've ranged anywhere from about the $175 price point uh, upwards of uh, $200, again, depending on what the batch is. So why don't we go ahead and we'll kind of get into uh, to today's review. Uh, so typically what I try to do is we'll go through the appearance, we'll nose it, we'll taste it, and then really kind of get into anything else having to do with the, uh, the whiskey itself. So as you can see, this is a really, really nice deep amber copper type of color, really, really nice, rich kind of color to that. So, and as I move the, the whiskey around in the glass, uh, one thing with this, with this being a high proof finished um, bourbon, what I like to try to do is, uh, in addition to moving it around in the glass, introducing a little bit of air to it, is let these things sit for a little while. If you can get between maybe 10 minutes and even upwards of 30 minutes, generally speaking, these finished whiskeys like this or high proof finished whiskeys will open up a bit and really reward you in the end whenever you get ready to taste whatever it is that you're about ready to. Some of the alcohol um, will kind of burn off of this and again, it'll just introduce a little bit of air to it, um, opening that up and really, really kind of pulling out the richness of it. So, all right, so as you can see, it's really, really nice and oily, which is great. Again, it's non-chill filtered. I don't know if I mentioned that prior, but they don't chill filter anything. So basically this is just being uh, screen filtered, uh, blending, and then into the bottles is what this is. So, all right, let's get into the, uh, let's get into the nose on this. Uh. So right away you get this fantastic, rich, like maple syrup note. Ah, some nice molasses that's there as well. Um, and one thing I'm gonna call a, like a drunk, um, like rich, dark fruit. So when you've had some fruits that have been placed into like other bourbons or other liquors, you get that kind of like rich intenseness. Um, you know, once you kind of smell or even try a piece of that fruit, you just get that that rich, complex type of, of nose that's there. Uh, and even a little bit of like a, a powdered cocoa, like a, you know, some type of like a, like a quick or something like that. Ah, fantastic spice that's there as well. Still some of that underlying oak that's there. Again, I mean, it's a 12 year bourbon. So you're starting out with what a lot of people think of as maybe close to that perfect age on a, on a bourbon. So they're already starting out with a quality bourbon. A little bit of black pepper that's there. Um, and I think as this has begun to open up and I've, I've had it sitting out for about maybe 15 or 20 minutes prior to the review, but you start to get this, this grapey aspect to it. And I think this is where the cognac part of it starts to, to kind of come out in it a little bit. And I've kind of, you know, indicated that, you know, it has this grapiness to it, which again, you know, is what cognac, you know, is. Very, very rich. That oak is really, really there. Still some of that underlying vanilla caramel note. You can tell it's a quality bourbon. There's those underlying qualities that you can, you can pull out that it's, it's got a nice richness already to the bourbon itself. Yeah, very, very, very nice nose on this one. 
yeah, that, that, that kind of chocolate, uh, again, kind of starts to come out more of the oak. And again, that grapiness, the cognac, it really starts to kind of, uh, come out. And again, uh, for me on the nose, there's still this like rich sweetness to it. I'm not getting as much of the, the rum part of it, but that could just be part of what I described before as the kind of that like drunk, like fruit, that dark fruit aspect that's there. That could be for me, um, you know, part of just that, that rum aspect coming out. All right. More importantly, let's, uh, let's see how this one tastes. Cheers. So we'll get the palate a little bit coated there. Take one more sip, kind of see what this one starts to do. So again, immediately, like I described on the, on the nose, that like drunken fruit, that dark, rich, dark fruit aspect comes out in it. Fantastic spice. The heat kind of comes in a little bit late on it. Some of that rich oak that's there. Again, so you're starting to get some of this like maple syrup, like maple syrup over waffles, something along those lines. Very, there's just this richness that's to it. It's got a fantastic mouth feel, coats the mouth extremely well, hits a lot of the palate. So I get a lot, you know, um, basically the mid to the back of the palate, but it kind of really folds down on both sides. So you start to really get a lot of that mouth coating aspect to it. So you're really getting a lot of the flavor that's there. Yeah, just this richness, that rich oak, still some black pepper that's there, but again, that dark fruit that's there, that maple aspect, that like maple syrup, again, the molasses comes out, just this bold richness that's there to it, you know? Um, you know, as it kind of starts to work into the finish, I mean, it's, it's probably on the long side of medium, if not, you know, on the long side, but again, you still left with some of that, that maple that's there. And maybe that's just a kind of a combination again of the, the cognac, um, you know, and some of that dark rum. It's a very, very well put together blend. So the, the barrels that they've you know, finished the bourbon in and then blended that. They've done an absolutely fantastic job with that. But yeah, finish wise, long, spicy, a little bit of black pepper that's there, a little bit of a drying aspect to it. That nice, dark, deep um, fruit again, something that would be more soaked in like, like a rum, so to speak, something along those lines. A little bit of that grapey aspect or the cognac is still present. That's there. Great oak. That's there. Really nice spice. Long, a little bit warming. Absolutely fantastic. I think they've really kind of knocked it out of the park. You know, to answer the original question is, is batch six worth the hype? I would say um, absolutely it is. It's probably on par with batch number one that they released, which was the original Kelvin collaboration. Uh, that was finished in rum, a rum and a sherry cask. So absolutely fantastic bourbon. And again, for me so far in 2020, I would say one of the better or best whiskeys I've had so far again in, in 2020. So they've actually absolutely done uh, a fantastic job. And like I said early on, is this one worth the hype? Yes. Um, as far as recommendation, I'd give it a buy. Again, I know the $200 price point can be a bit of an issue, but that's for you to decide, you know, in terms of is something worth uh, the price. For me, I would say in today's day and age, yes, for what it is that you're getting and the quality of this whiskey, hands down, it's a, it's a buy uh, for me. So, so with that being said, so remember, like, subscribe, Leave some comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. Have you tried this one? Um, you know, again, what are your thoughts, um, you know, with this specifically? So uh, also, if you'd like to check out, I'll have linked uh, in the description below 
a couple of reviews from some of the other channels. So if you want to check those out, just get a different perspective, uh, you can as well. So make sure you check out them. Uh, other links in the description below as well. Uh, and remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.